Hey what's up guys, it's Ari. With the X-Men Tornado V3 just around the corner, is it worth getting 2021's flagship from X-Men Design, the X-Men Tornado V2 in 2022? Let's find out. Is that a banana? Sorry. The X-Men Tornado V2 was released in July 2021 and weighs in at 76 grams with a 55mm edge-to-edge length. The cube comes with a dual adjustment core system and also five adjustable magnet strengths. The cube comes with a leather storage bag, a cleaning cloth, adjustment tools and also a very nice hard shell case. The feel of the cube is very smooth out of the box, somewhat dry. So on the loose tensions, the cube can corner cut very well from all angles and on the tighter tensions, it tends to get a little bit worse and the reverse corner cutting is somewhat lackluster across the board. Speaking of tension, this cube has a very sophisticated design in the core with the dual adjustment system. You can rotate using the tool clockwise to adjust the spring strength and counterclockwise to adjust the screw strength. And you can also use the tool to adjust the magnets to five different settings. So the magnets have five levels. They go from a very weak magnet on level one to quite a strong magnet, almost too strong on level five. Also important to mention that it's very quiet. So it's a good cube for cubing in public or cubing in the house with family around and can be set up quite a number of ways, such as my cube being very slow, for me being very slow, and Ari's cube being very fast, for Ari being very fast. Something interesting about this cube is that a company called Cubers Home has come in and created a third party option for this cube, which has added magnets into the corners and the core of the cube, as you can see just in there which creates somewhat of a stronger magnetic feel. Doesn't really increase performance, it's just a different option that's provided to customers. Something else to note is that my corner core cube is quite a bit slower than Ari's. It's partly because of my lube setup, but I think on average, this cube is generally slower just because of more magnets connecting after each turn. So back to our initial question, is it worth it in 2022? Well, if you're willing to wait just a little bit longer for the V3 to come out, then maybe that might be more suited to you. But in general, this cube is amazing, especially for the price of $24.95 US with the extra adjustment options provided to you when you buy the cube. And use code JBREW at discount for 5% off your order. Thanks for watching. Check out our Y Day Yoohoo review.